Hello everyone, so Q School today. This video is going to be about Q School. Uh, day one is over. Um, everyone has played and uh, yeah, we're going to do a video going over basically um, who played, who won, who's got what points uh, and how many 180s were there. That's quite interesting as well. I thought that was really interesting. So stay around for that. Um, and also uh, the averages. Were there any big averages? Was there any, any, any low averages? Let's get into it. Okay, so the winners of today in the UKQ school was uh, Jason Lowe and Gary Blades. So well done to those guys. And uh, the winner in the uh, the European or the rest of the world Q school was Harold Lettinger. Yeah, don't know how to say his name, but he won in the he won the uh, the rest of the world one. So well done to him as well. But. Looking at the screen, we have got all the results and stuff. So I forgot to format this, filter this already. So we'll do it now. So, semi finals was Jason Lowe against uh, Steve Brown. Nice to see Steve Brown do well, must admit. Lovely to see Steve Brown do well. And Gary Blades beat uh, Tony Newell. So, uh, Annie Hamilton, standout for today. He done really well, lost in the quarter finals as well. Well done to Annie Hamilton. Good to see him back. I think. A good run like that. If he can just have some steady, steady games, he'll probably get a tour card now. If you're if you're in the like the quarterfinals on the first day, you've normally got a good chance. You just need to just stay ahead while you're ahead. And uh, yeah, so let's have a look at the high averages for this. So if we sort it large, uh, we had we had two. F uh, Kai Fan Leong had two averages of uh, 107.4. Wow. Well done to him. That was decent. Uh, we had Jason Lowe had an average of uh, 104.8 against uh, Andrew Foster. Mark Dubridge had an average of 102.4. Um, Kevin Lane, 101.5. Jason Lowe, again, another 100 average, uh, 100.8. And uh, Leonard Gates, he had 100.2 average as well. So well done, Leonard Gates. And then obviously, I've got to mention gilding. Got to mention the gilding. Love a bit of gilding. Let's have a look. See if anyone had any high uh, losing averages. Let's have a look. That's the wrong way around. Uh, high losing averages. Adam Huckvale, he had the highest losing average with a, a dead on 100, apparently. So uh, he was playing against the 107 average, to be fair. So can't complain with that, really. But yeah, let's have a look at the next sheet. This is, now this is interesting, right? I'm going to make this bigger so you guys can see this as well. Uh, because it's important that you see... Uh, yeah, this is this is the uh, the tournament average. So at number one, we have Kai Fan Leung. He had a tournament average of ninety seven point one seven. Lost in the last sixty four. Hit himself nine one eighties as well. So decent. Uh, anyone else? Jason Lowe qualified uh, ninety four point four nine tournament average. Eighteen hundred eighties. Uh, got to the top four and uh, and won it. So so he got to talk on it anyway. Uh, 1,380 is from uh, Darren Beveridge. Lost in the last 32, so he must have been pretty pr prolific on the 180s. Uh, any other big 180s? Uh, Justin Smith, lost in the last 16, 11 180s. 14 180s for Gary Blades. He obviously uh, he won as well. Decent. Andy Hammond hit 12. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, so let's have a look at the the, uh, the lowest averages of the tournament. Uh, better fill that the correct way. Um, so lowest averages of the tournament. Uh, Jeremy Dolan, 32.67, uh, 34, 40 average, 40 average, 40 average. There are some low ones. There's like, how many averages are there? Uh, 21 averages of under 60. So, not amazing. Someone won a game as well. This guy hit two 180s, won a game, and Stuart Walker, 58 average. Decent. Well done, Stuart Walker. Um, but yeah, so this is where I want to show you the cool stats. So the average average was 76.84. And the total 180s for the UKQ school, 948. Right? Think about how many 180s you've hit and 948. Insane. Like, so many 180s. I've never really... I thought it'd be like maybe three, 400 180s, but... Nearly a thousand one eighties. Anyway, going on to the um, the uh, rest of the world Q school. I don't want to pretend like I can pronounce these guys' names. I'll tell you if there's anyone I recognise. Uh, Martin Clearmaker. He played in the BDO World Championships. Lost in a final. Uh, so decent start for him. Brian Raman. I've marked for him a few times. Um, yeah, last lost in the semis. Got himself a few points there. 
decent. And uh, Titus Kanik, marked for him as well, um, was on the, was on the uh, the Pro Tour recently. Must have just just lost his tour card. Wesley Harms got to the uh, top sixteen. Jeffrey DeGraff got to the top sixteen. Um, yeah, decent, decent day. Um, who else? How did other people get on? Yeah, I can't see anyone else who I recognise. I recognise a few names, but like not big names. Chris Landman, he hit 170 in the World Championships as well. Played well. Lost to Wesley Harms, gutted. Gutted, a big BDO clash there. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at the next the next sheet for these guys. This is the averages. So this is the tournament averages. Actually, no, we're gonna go we're gonna go back to this. And we're gonna see who had who had the uh, the biggest individual average. Let's have a look, shall we? Um, so if I filter this like this, should have done this beforehand. That would have been smart. Um, largest to smallest. So, wow. Uh, Martin Clearmaker, he had 108.8 average. Um, decent against, oh, I can't even see what this guy's name is. Against Kai Gossard, maybe. 108.8, highest average of the day as well. Uh, and it come from one of the BDO players and rest of the world players. So well done to you. Jeffrey DeGraff had 105. Mike Ledecker, 105. Uh, Dirk Telenikin, Telenikins, 101. Kevin Doitz, I recognise his name, 100.8. Uh, 100.3 for Wesley Harms. Couple of good averages in there, actually. Dirk Van Duvenbo is in there, 98.9. So sweet. Um, let's have a look at the tournament averages. So Mike Dedeka was at the top of the tournament average uh, with a 94.01. He lost in the last 32. Uh, let's have a look. Who else? Kevin Doetz, 91.26. Who qualified? Um, I can't remember who qualified. Who actually qualified? Uh, 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 uh. I can't remember. Uh, who else is in this list? Barry Van Peer. Nice to see Barry Van Peer doing well, I must admit. That is nice. Uh, 180s. Uh, total 180s was um, 455. Let's see who had the most 180s. Largest to smallest. That would be smallest to largest. Uh, Brian Rabbit had the most 180s with 13 on the day. And the average average for the tournament, for this tournament, was 73.3. So... Decent. That's basically it. So look at the point system as well. So for uh, the UK system, uh, Steve Brownland, Tony Newell, six points each. Daniel Lauby, never heard of him before, so well done to him. Uh, five points. Annie Hamilton's on five points. Who else is standing out as uh, other people? Uh, Mark Dudbridge, Richie Edhouse, three points. Yeah. The girls did quite well today as well. Um, Lisa Ashton got three points. So, yeah, well done to all of those. So look at the rest of the world points as well. Now, I don't know how the points work in the rest of the world thing, just because I don't know if they give seven points to the finalists, because it's not that both finalists go through, it's only one finalist goes through. So I want to assume it's seven points and it works its way down. Uh, Brian Rammons on six points. Uh, Titus Canick, four points. So I'd say I am probably saying these names wrong. Wesley Harms, four points. Jeffrey DeGraff, four points. I'd like, I'd like to see some of the rest of the world BDO players get tour cards this year. That would be good. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know in the comment section below what you thought. Uh, who's going to qualify for Q School? Um, did anyone see Steve uh, Brown coming out of the sort of semi-retirement? He's not retired, but he did slow down a little bit. Made, made it all the way to the final. Love to see Steve Brown do well. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Who's going to qualify from both? Um, who do you think has played the best today? Did you watch it? Did you enjoy it? What game stood out to you? And, uh, yeah, that's the video, guys. Leave a like on it. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, that, that is the video. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later.